title of the video, I'm going to be changing up my room again. And this is very spontaneous of me because, I mean, I'm always changing up my room every single other, other five, five months. months. This isn't new, especially to my channel if you guys watch me. Like, this is not new. But I feel like changing up the room and rearranging some things is just so important. Sometimes when you feel like you're stuck or you feel like you're just, like, bored in your room, you just want to change things up, you want to be creative, it just helps a lot, especially for me. That's why I'm always changing up my room. So that's why I'm going to be changing up my room again. So basically a couple minutes ago, I drew like kind of like what I want my room to look like. <laughs> Here's a little overview of my room. thing that I don't like about my room right now is my bed being over there like in the corner I feel like it's super bright over there as you guys can tell like the camera can't even pick it up sometimes and around sunset time it's so bright like the sun hits over there might get my headache from the sun so my plan is to move my bed over there in that corner if you guys have been watching me for a while you guys know that I put my bed over there for the first time when I rearranged my room for the first video that I ever filmed on here and I really really like it over there I feel like it's not a bunch of sunlight hitting on my bed it's just a lot better over Overall. So we're gonna be moving my bed over there. I literally don't even know where to start First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start moving everything off my dresser my nightstand and my vanity The amount of stuff that I just took off of my vanity, my dresser, and my nightstand is actually insane. Like, there's some things in the corner of my bed, too, that I have no idea what it was doing over there. But I just took off everything, and that made me exhausted. But one thing I don't know where to start with is, like, what do I move first? Because I'm going to move my chair, and then I think I'm going to put my mirror up there. My dresser, oh my gosh. I've been looking for for so long like look how cute these are they were literally underneath my nightstand how did I not see that that's crazy <laughs> literally the things that you can find when you rearrange your room is crazy and there's so much dust everywhere I feel like I, I, feel like you I can, can hear me echoing echo right now I'm done next order of business I'm gonna move my bed oh this is the big this is the big part I'm gonna actually put these slippers on because there's so much dust everywhere that I just need slippers this is nasty <laughs> my bed onto this side of the wall it was literally so hard i think i've been doing this for about 20 minutes and i'm exhausted but i finally got my nightstand there and then this is what we're just dealing with right now i'm thinking about putting my dresser on that wall but as i was moving it i'm like low-key wanting to put it on that wall i like can't take this off by myself so i'm thinking about just putting it on that wall so it covers up but i'm not sure on what to do <sighs> i'm literally out of breath So I put my dresser right here and I put my vanity right here and I don't know if I like it or not. Like, I don't know if it just looks so basic and like, ugh, not it. So maybe I'm thinking about putting it on this wall. I have no idea. Which I think I'm gonna leave it like this because I feel like I have more space. As of right now, I don't know where to put this. <laughs> I think that looks weird, but I feel like it adds color into my room. I think that looks just super weird. Maybe if I put my desk over there. And love this little corner right here you guys are gonna see me getting ready a lot more over here in this corner i think this just looks so good i feel like it has more color over here there's a little plant over here this looks perfect but anyways as i was saying i feel like deep cleaning just is so good for your mental health and speaking of mental health this video is sponsored by BetterHelp. so i just wanted to talk a little bit about BetterHelp. BetterHelp is like an online mental therapy platform with two million clients it's one of the largest therapy platforms in the whole entire world i love BetterHelp because it makes it so much more 
more affordable and accessible because in reality looking for a therapist is so difficult sometimes especially in your area depends on where you are so BetterHelp is just so perfect because it offers therapy through online messaging live chat and phone sessions so whenever you're feeling like down or you feel like you just need to vent to someone you can open up BetterHelp on your app and do it right from your home you don't have to drive anywhere which is so convenient all you need to do to get started is answer a few questions based on your needs and your goals that way BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist with everything that you need and if you don't really feel like you fit in with the therapist that you get chosen with which happens you can easily switch with a new therapist with no additional cost without stressing about insurance losing your network anything like that it's super easy to get signed up and get matched with a therapist there's also a 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com and that's pretty much it if you are struggling and if you just feel like you just want to vent to not even really struggling just want to vent to and you feel alone especially going into the school year it can be a little bit stressful and hectic at most times with all the assignments that you have to do and keeping up with social life and all that stuff it is so good because you can always turn to better help and come to your therapist and talk about everything and literally at your own home so i definitely recommend getting it and trying it out because you won't regret it thank you again better help for sponsoring today's video This is what it looks like right now. I honestly feel like it looks really good with the dresser over there. I feel like if it was over here, it would be way too crowded. But right now, I feel like this is way too crowded. All of that stuff goes on my dresser, so I'm still trying to organize it. But now I just want to deep clean. <laughs> Right now I've just been taking a little bit of a break trying to realize like do I really need this? Do I really use it? Literally I don't even take the clothes off of there. I feel like it looks really cluttered over there. Even my mom said it. So I'm just kind of indecisive right now on whether I should take it down or keep it up there. I think I'm going to take it down because I feel like it would look a lot better over there. I can have like Mel's little space over there with her water and her food and her like pad. So that's kind of like what I have in mind right now. Don't know where I'm going to put that though. So we're going to have to take that down really quickly. so funny because I literally just put this up and I remember vlogging it. It was like the healthy girl summer routine vlog and I literally am taking it down now. So I'm praying that I don't lose any of the pieces unless if I want to use it in the future, which I feel like I'm going to want to use it for like my future house, like in the office or something. finished with my entire room and I'm so excited to show you guys. I love it so much and I feel like there's more space and it feels more cozy. I don't know how to explain it but I love it. a tour so starting off with my door i have on this side plant my yoga mat this little chair i don't even remember where i got this from i know that i got it when i first started redoing my room i have this little sitting area in front of my bed my shelf i didn't move anything because i like how it looks like and i just think it looks really good here's my bed my nightstand i added just like my lamp what it had like before just my clock a candle which i'm so excited for fall comment down below if you are excited because i am so excited i even got like so many fall candles and you'll see throughout this video i have my little jewelry holder and also these little marks are just like permanent they never come off every time i try to clean it so i might be getting a new nightstand i just don't know what type of nightstand i want because i really love this nightstand they just don't sell it anymore on the side over here i have like a little bit of space so i just add my ipad this prayer book that i just recently got and then my laptop and then i have my closet right here i feel like there's such a big mess but it's just the cables and i don't know what to do but i have my mini fridge my skylight 
another fall candle which i'm so excited to use i'm just gonna try to wait till september my fan and then i have this light thing that i absolutely love i put it behind my mirror but i decided to leave it right here because i feel like when i film it just looks better but at nighttime i'll probably add it behind my mirror just to add a little bit of color over here because i feel like there's no color especially at night then you have my dresser have a plant my 100,000 youtube plaque Wait, plaque this little vitamin holder which is an echo dot which i definitely recommend i recently got it and i absolutely love it this mirror it used to be on my vanity which i'll probably explain to you guys in another video but i just feel like this looks a lot better over here and then i just have like some perfume my more jewelry and then another little plant right here on this shelf i have the same thing as always that i've always had just a candle that i literally used all of it i just think it's so cute it's a little bit burnt so i probably will throw it away have this vase that i got from etsy this i got as a gift from my mom oil diffuser where i lost the cable so it's just like up there for decoration now and then this plant which is from ikea i have mel's toy in like this little basket she has so many now but i think it's literally all bella's and she just steals a bunch i have a mini lamp and then another fall candle which i love this is kind of like a storage thing that i just keep stuff in i have talkies in there i didn't even know i have a bunch of stuff like books and stuff and snacks but i just keep it in there and it literally looks like it's not even a storage thing it looks so cute and i got it from home goods this my boyfriend gave me for christmas the little slippers not little but huge slippers which we love on my window i decided to add this picture wow of kayla when we literally first started dating and then this little bowl which i don't even know what this is for i just use that as decoration then i have my mirror which is from ikea i love this mirror i decided to keep mel's like stuff over here so just her water her food and her little bed which she doesn't use and i've tried to get so many other beds and she doesn't use i think she's just a puppy and she doesn't know or doesn't like it i have no clue because bella's not like that but i have it there i added added a plant which is also from ikea and another candle which is from amazon and i think this is so adorable i decided to add my vanity here which i honestly think it looks so good especially for filming the lighting and everything this desk is from amazon i got it a long time ago so i don't know where it is on amazon but i'll try to link it down below i'll try to link down most of the things down below if you guys want me to link more stuff down below just comment down below like stuff that you want me to link or stuff that you want to know where it's from i'm just doing a quick little room tour if you guys want more of an in-depth room tour let me know in the comments anyways i have some paper stuff like notebooks notepad it's from paper it's called paper this little oil thing is so cute i don't even remember where i got it from but it just smells so good and it still smells good i got it a long time ago this mirror which is touch screen and i lost the cable too for it but i got it from urban outfitters only the ogs know about this though because i remember filming this in a vlog and a lot of you guys commented like asking me where i got it from and i just showed you guys like that i got it and i was like putting youtube and stuff on it i think it's so cool i definitely recommend it it's just a little bit pricey and it sucks that i lost the cable but i'm gonna definitely be on the lookout for it a lot more so that i can show you guys in upcoming videos of this thing because it's so cool this whole organizer is from amazon i love it so much i have like lotion serums hair mask hair wax i don't know what this is doing in here but it's a deep pillow spray this little perfume from glossier glossier whatever i don't even know how to say it looms like face mask just a bunch of little skincare stuff self-care stuff and then this is all of my pens and stuff to study like the bible i just have it all in here and i think it's so cute it's by aj definitely recommend their pencil pouches are so cute and just like toiletry bags you can use it for makeup or whatever and then this mirror is from amazon which i'll link down below because i am absolutely in love with it and more people need to get it because it's so cute oh and i also have this poster that i got a long time ago and then i have my 100k plaque from my vlog channel which is no longer my vlog channel it's a couple's channel so definitely go subscribe to that if you're not already and then i just have my purses on this wall i just don't know what to put on that wall i feel like if i add stuff it's just gonna look weird i used to love like the green stuff garland or whatever that i used to have on that wall when i first started redoing my room but i don't even know where that went unless i like want to buy another one but let me know what you guys think of what i should add on that wall if it should be posters or if i just should leave it like that because i feel like it looks fine like that i just love the way everything turned out and i feel like it looks more spacious and just a lot better and honestly i'm glad that i took down the clothing rack over there i feel like it looked a lot cluttered before and now it just looks more free and mel has space for her like food and stuff like that but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what videos you guys would like to see from me and make sure you subscribe for more videos like this if you guys want a room tour like an in-depth room tour i will definitely film there for you guys but i feel like i just filmed a room tour like pretty quick and 
and you guys can probably see like where everything is from yeah i miss filming videos like this where i can like rearrange my room it's literally my favorite thing to do and i know i get a lot of comments like emily why are you repetitive with this type of content with your room but i literally was like i don't know if i should move it and film it or if i should just move it and not film it but then i was like i need to film this because i didn't film it the last time i moved my room and i just wanted to make a dedicated video on this and i feel like this is literally bringing back memories when my bed used to be here and i just miss it so i love it so much and i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye guys Aww.